Well, at the family's request, the burial services at the Lady Valley Memorial Gardens were limited to first responders and their families, but that didn't stop you from standing outside the cemetery to pay your respects. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on that story. So many firefighter and police vehicles trying to squeeze into Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens to honor the three firefighters who lost their lives, but only so much space. Joe and Melissa Falbo brought their eight-year-old daughter Victoria out here to witness the procession. For her to see something this significant that is not, you know, typical, where you're going to see the amount of respect that gets paid, not just by their fellow brothers and sisters, but by civilians, it's something she's going to remember for the rest of her life. Now etched in our memories, the ultimate price paid by Lieutenant Paul Buttram, Lieutenant Kelsey Sadler, and firefighter paramedic Kenny Lacayo. Retired Baltimore County firefighter Bill Connolly was one of the first to arrive here at the cemetery. And he can reel off the names of similar fallen heroes from decades ago. Losing three uh, brings me back to 1984 in October when we lost um, three firefighters. Uh, Henry Rayner, Walter Borowski, and Jimmy Kimmel at Schiller's department store in um, Dundalk where there was a building collapse. And we came out here to Delaney Valley. They are losses endured by the firefighters' immediate families and their second families in a profession that puts them in harm's way. It's um, something special being from the Brotherhood and now today with losing Kelsey, it's, it's a sisterhood too. Um, brothers and sisters um, working together, we're a family. Um, we spend probably three quarters of our lives in a fire station and we're with each other in a firehouse more than we're with our own um, loved ones at home. Those colleagues and those men and women that they worked with will always be there for their families. We're told that the three firefighters are going to be laid to rest side by side in front of the Fallen Heroes Memorial. This now brings the number to 77 first responders and correctional officers who have been laid to rest in that special section. Reporting at Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.